Hello all, June 25th, 2012. Well, I had a, a correction of a name of a river that I said in the last video. I called it the Red River. It's the Red Deer River. Thanks for the corrections, and uh, I'll try and be a little bit more accurate, though that's kind of difficult. People that do these videos understand that. All right, so let's go right over to Brent Crude. So, started out at 91 and went up to here until it found out what the stock market was doing and then it fell back down to here did the wavy thing up to about here and went down kinda went over went back down did the stair step went all the way down to 89.5 and then decided to shoot straight up back to 91 doesn't make that much sense does it and because Brent crude is going down, let's go see if it is it affecting any of the gas prices. And let's go up and take a look at how many oil barges are in San Francisco Bay. It helps to gauge the supply of gasoline in the California area. Oh no, that's something we haven't seen in a while. I think though that's three oil barges in the bay. I think that one is a uh, cargo vessel of some sort. So today I wanted to talk to you about a very interesting subject. Back in the 60s, uh, there was a large problem in the U.S. of waste. Cattle waste, blood, uh, poultry waste, uh, toxic waste, sewage. We really had a problem. The Ohio River was on fire. Uh, the Great Lakes were turning blood red. It was really a mess and we had all this waste to get rid of. So we put in legislation legislation, and got rid of a lot of this waste. But where did it all go? Well, let me go show you. I have to get the board up here. Well, they came up with a really good idea, at least at the time they thought it was a good idea. They came up with something called injection wells. And what, what they did is they, since that time, they have injected 30 trillion gallons of toxic liquids down into the ground in these toxic wells. you think there wouldn't be a problem, but there is. There are more than 680,000 wells in the U.S. alone. Many scientists are saying in 10 to 100 years, most of the groundwater in the U.S. will be polluted and will be non-usable. Out of 220 wells inspected in the U.S., 17,000 wells were in violation. Let me show you what the problem is. Okay, this is one of the injection wells. They have a giant tank under great pressure and they pump this stuff down and it shoots out, this is one of the type, it shoots out into an old oil reservoir. Now, the problem with this is that old reservoirs of oil are half full of oil. We just can't get it out yet. So by injecting this poison down into these old oil wells, you're taking away any chance of any future generations of getting the oil out. Stupid move, huh? There's another way. It's called fracking. What they do is they do the same thing and they pump the liquid down and then they explode the liquid and it causes fractures throughout the, the earth and the poison just goes into the earth like this and they get rid of millions of gallons of it that way. Well, how could that be a problem? We just waste all of our old oil wells. Well, there's a problem with leakage. Let's go back to the board. I'll show you what I mean. You know how when politicians talk, they leak all kinds of BS? In fact, most everything that comes out of their mouth is leakage. Well, the same thing happens with... I dropped my pen. Um, the same thing happens with these wells. Again, this is the planet. These are the wells going down here. I don't I don't have a blue. So 
just pretend. These wells are cased in metal casing like this. Then they put concrete down through the casing and it comes back up around the casing like this to seal off any liquids from going up. However, there's a problem. These are aquifers that we drink. These are real basic water aquifers. Sometimes these wells will crack or you'll get a horizontal shift in the earth and it will make the, the, the well casing crack and these poisons just come right back up and into our groundwater. That's why scientists are saying that the groundwater will be completely polluted in 10 to 100 years. Unfortunately, this group of insanitists that came up with this injection well idea are still telling us that it's safe and perfectly okay and that those few leaks that there are polluting all the groundwater, they're few and far between. We don't have to worry about them. 17,000 violations in 200,000 wells is a small amount. Alright, one more issue. This morning I read that the Supreme Court has made it legal for police to ask for your papers in the U.S. now. Isn't that interesting how history goes and repeats itself? No matter what you do to stop it from doing so, it still does it. I mean, we saw this in World War II and in World War I. And here we are, same situation, different country, where the police are going to have legal the ability to legally profile you, racially profile you, and ask you for your papers. How long before the checkpoints? And we just seem to do nothing, and I'm smelling piss. I think this is a nasty area. I think I'm going to move. Okay, until next time.